sport with Maurizio Pochettino. And Richie, um, you know, he, he's a very deep thinker about the game. We mentioned all the stuff that's been written with him and about him and all that stuff beforehand. He takes these things very personally, as mo most people do, and particularly when it's his job. But I, I'm slightly confused by the way that interview went. He's not going to criticise his players mm -hmm. in public, absolutely not, and has to send out a positive message. But what, what did you think of what he said? Um, I, I'd agree. I didn't expect him to come out and be too critical of the players. Um, he stressed some of the things they did well and tried to belittle it to just two mistakes in three minutes. I didn't expect much more of him. Um, what he says are things privately might be a little bit different, but I wonder now like, how this result now will impact the dressing room or the club. A lot of the talk in the build-up to this game, Pochettino came out with a lot of it saying these players have bought into... This, this dream or this goal of becoming heroes at Tottenham, to try and win something at Tottenham, which is a bigger and more special achievement than winning something elsewhere. This is what he was trying to paint it as. So you can imagine what that was like being in that group with the dream still alive. Now it's gone. They're not going to win the Premier League. They're not going to win the Champions League. And, and there's going to be a lot of fallout from this. Are they bottle jobs? Did they, can they make the next step? To make the next step in Europe, you need money. We know the financial structure of the club is limited at the moment because they're trying to build a new stadium. It's not just because Daniel Levy doesn't release the purse strings, he hasn't got it. They have to do a lot of work to, to, to get finance for the stadium, which is more than double the cost than it originally was. So yeah. huge, tens and tens of millions for transfer fees mightn't be available to Pochettino. He mightn't, he mightn't like that. Yeah. He won't like that, and that might be that might turn his head a little bit. But the players can treble their wages going elsewhere too. Well, and, the, and that could, could happen. It could happen indeed with the manager. But look, the, the question we began the programme talking about was about the, you know, the potential of a very, a very significant night for Tottenham. We followed that on with how important is it for them to win a trophy. Results change things. How important is it now for Tottenham to win the FA Cup? Listen, I think the, the FA Cup, you can argue it, Saved Wenger's job the past two, three years. Uh, no, well, I, I'm not talking about it as saving his job, but I'm just. Oh, as, well, listen, the only thing, status, I'm talking about status the FA Cup yeah. for me, it's gone, but it's a trophy. And like we touched on before, big games tonight, if they go through, gives you belief. Winning trophies gives you belief. But for me, it's lost at Litz and Atlanta. So I'm like, FA Cup is like the Carabao Cup, or maybe, you know. Yeah. But he just has to be allowed to keep building, which he will be. Like, you think where he's brought them from last year with more or less the same squads. Like, last year was Monaco, Leverkusen, CSK, Moscow. He didn't get out of the group, and they struggled big time. They've made joint, joint strides. And all big clubs, you would say, uh, are allowed then spend. He's spent next to nothing at that club. Mm. And I know, like, I don't know who who the builders are at that stadium. Like, that was supposed to cost 400 million, and it's cost a billion. Mm. So I don't think you'd be getting an awful lot of money to spend. So, um, and the other thing is, I know everyone's sick of saying it, like, will they keep Kane? If someone comes in at 200, can you turn that down? Pochettino, PSG would be looking for a new manager, without doubt. And to give him a free reign, is he going to turn that down? Interesting time, CD. Uh, interesting times for the neutral. I'm not sure whether they will be too interested or, or, or to look forward to for Spurs fans. Well, what's your gut? What's going to happen? Well, I think he'll say to the chairman, this is as far as I can, can take him. Really? If, if we don't spend money, I think they, they, I still stand by, they should have beaten Spurs over the two legs. Then you're in the last day, then you've got another seven teams. And you've probably got another, at least five or six, you're better equipped than your team. Um, and I think... I think the FA Cup will become a major trophy now because I think they've got to have a, a good run in this competition, maybe even go to the final or win it, because he's got to make a decision now which players, if he does stay at, at the club, which players will drive the club forward. Because this was, I think this is a major disappointment and I like him because he's very authentic, he says it how it is and he's always calm, he's always treats the interview with a lot of respect. But I think he'll be gutted and he'll be looking at this team now and, and, and thinking, which of these players, if we want to progress, if I get some money to spend, which is not certain at the moment, which are the players who can drive the club forward? And um, I think it will be interesting times, but there'll be question marks about the manager. Um, but I think that the, the tricky thing now for him will be not to lose faith in the players, because this is a, a game or two games you should have never got out. And as a manager, I think sometimes to keep faith with the players, 
is the hardest thing to do. Well, we've made we've heard comments as well for the, the you know the, the way the players they, they've openly said we love the manager. Now he did have issues after they finished third in, in the league in 2016, where he took that really personally, Richie, and had to work hard at rebuilding that the 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 bond. But it, I know their season hasn't ended, but like their Champions League campaign is ending, and at the end of every unsuccessful campaign, you sit there and go, well, what could we have done better, or what do we need? That will, that will strengthen our, our, our hand next year. You, you need money to buy players, but that's not all. You need the wages to offer them. Now, if you offer top wages to your new signings, you completely destabilise the dressing room, which is full of players who are on ridiculously large amounts of money, but in, in the world of football, mm. on relatively <coughs> average amounts of money, given the level they're at. So it's not just about a transfer sum, it's about completely smashing their wage structure, and then somehow keeping the dressing room happy, or there'll be transfer requests flying in all over the place. Okay, lads, for the moment, thank you.